The next uh, new feature in ABAP 7.4 is the table operator. This is really important and we'll need it in all ABAP programs. Uh, so by table operator, we mean that we want to read data from a table, check if the table has uh, entry or not, loop through the table entry, append the table entry. So, so all those, those are table operators which can be done differently with 7.4. So let's, let's start and uh, we'll just comment the earlier part and start our own. So I'll say, so I'll just write 20, or did we reach 20? I'm not sure. Table operators. So let's start. So I'll define types, same again, begin of ty. Yo, I'll use the same field, Dublin type EBLM, then we'll use say Lifnar type LFNR, and then we'll use say NETWR type ETWR, and we'll also use a risk type flag, and then we'll end it end of ty underscore PO. For now, let's keep it this, and then we'll do a select, uh, select say EBLM. EBLP NETWR and case we will say when NETWR is say greater than 1000 uh oh 1000 is 1000 is too much 1000 then make it as X or else um, keep it plan and you have to end the case so end as RS. so this is simple um, what do you say? Case statement. Then you do matner works up to say. I don't need to do ten rows, but still I'll do it in case you have more volume. Ten rows from EKPO into table inline declaration. At the rate data, we escape the host variable li item. So this is one select. All right. So let's. Uh, try to read first uh, one of the first operation uh, of any table okay why is this crying case is invalid here due to grammar okay what mistake did i do here can you please scan through my code okay select this 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 case when this then x then risk up to 10 rows okay the issue was here comma I forgot the comma and let's activate so one of the um, important thing um, which we do in real project is we try to find a particular row right we try to find say first row operator is get uh, index of a particular line say say for this uh, internal table we want to find the first line where we have um, the risk as x so we want to find the index okay so how do you do that so if it was regular above you say read table this uh, with key risk equal to s and you find the site type x right so for here let's try to do it so we'll do it data so an idx uh, so it, and we have a operator called line index so this is a new new word for you and it will be line li underscore item and what you'll give where risk equals to s x right this is this is what you are trying to do so so you are trying to read data from li item li item um, where uh, the risk is okay i think i'll give a wrong bracket here it should be square bracket here um, yeah. yeah it's not crying now and then we, let's write the index right so i'll try to write uh, idx all right so this is the variable so let me activate this and execute so check uh, it gives the index as two now let's debug at real time and see whether the index is really true or not so let's debug again so it takes us to the debug perspective and look where is the risk so risk is anything greater than 
1000 is a risk so here it is on the second row so and our output was correctly slowing showing it as second row right so if you see this this was showing us two so which is good so this part is correct so how did we do that we said line exist where the line where field number is this so you got the first one you you now learn how to read the index using the new table operator let's see what is next next we'll check if uh, there is an entry with a particular data okay so how do we do that say oh, next we'll do um, uh, we'll say check table for any particular entry so what we'll do we'll do the, we'll take the same example but we'll use a different uh, operator so if line exis exists so we don't need to uh, read and other thing item so what you want to see if risk is equal to x if there is any line with uh, risk x right so you want to write it say you want to and if okay i did not give if here i wanted if not it and then i want to write say give a message say warning message he's saying that say you want to give there is a risky entry anything you can give all right and then end so what is so why is this going crying okay it's good so, so that's the beauty of adt it tells you before you even do the syntax checker it tells you that something is wrong so i had removed the breakpoint so it's giving a warning now test it so we know it will this line will be printed because there is an entry with x so still i want to show the output let's test it so here's the output so since they it found an entry with uh, risk as x so it gave you the output let's go to next what we have so i'll, I'll just comment this guy also mm, seven and then next we'll go for a read table so let's see how we can do read table in a new way okay so we'll do read table so for that we'll, we'll do read table say lwa line so this is the work area uh -uh. and so we'll we'll read table li item where risk equals to so you remember this is a square bracket okay it's not normal normal bracket so here we we want to read the line the first line so again it is crying because i don't have space so it is clear now so here we'll say find a line where you have a risk and then we'll we'll try to or we're going to say find the first line which has risk so we'll say lwa line so we can get ebln and lwa line risk right so i think we need a comma here and then activate it's all clear now test it so check the output so this po has a risk so this is x so so we got a po number which has risk right so next let's do which you will be more interested interested is to loop through the data and then write it okay let's see how we can loop so this was reading okay so this you can do if we read just one line you can loop through the table and write get the data so so this operator depends the same where you put the uh, conditions in the square bracket all right this is called square bracket so now next one is uh, loop and write all right let's uh, one two three this would be four uh, let's say loop and write how do we do that so we'll say do We'll take a simple example do lines say lines equal to li item so as many item times so i'll say i don't know 10 times at least because we have selected 10 and do and then here we'll pull the data so we'll have the inland declaration ls item so we'll say li item will give square bracket and psi index so we want to get uh, each row of the table and print it all right so this time we'll use our favorite uh, what is a pipe delimited concatenation so here i'll concatenate giving 
curly braces so curly braces is for variables dynamic which comes at long run time so ls item ebln give space and then ls I'll give space ls item you get a net double r all right so and then here you can give a space to just for consistency activate and now let's test it so here's the output so the 10 rows which we selected so this is the 10 rows from 1 to 10 so we could have done easily loop at this into this but uh, the motto of this session was to show you that we have something like lines right so i wanted to show that something lines and then we can use this square bracket the last item which i want to show in the table operator uh, that is called uh, um, what you say which loop through the internal table and read the data and then put it so you have two internal tables you will loop through one and read through other that is a more practical scenario right so let's let me select one more entry okay so unless you forget so i'll just show you that what was this so the fifth one i'll put in the top so that you don't get confused you will say read internal table okay so we look through one and read the internal table. this is the fifth one which we're trying to learn in the table operator so for the for that i'll select one more entry and for one more table so we'll say select ebln lifner or favorite up to 10 rows uh, from ekk header into table escape the host variable data li header okay so now the idea is we look through the uh, header and then read the item entry all right so how do we do that say i'll do loop at it li head into data in ls head we'll stop and then we give an end loop okay so it's crying because i did not give a comma here and also lifner spelling is incorrect l i f n r lifner so now i'm looping through the header and i want to read the item tables so how we do that let's say um i have a final internal table too so say i have one i'll define one data which says li final type standard table of typo so i want to prepare a final table to show it in a report which is usually our case in our real projects so i'll do this so i'll say and this is final and i'll also define a work area for it all right so i'll say ls final type ty po and i need to give a this guy so, so that you can use in the same one now i will populate the final internal table so ls final say we have from header what we get ebln is equal to ls head ebln we get it from header ls final We'll get a lifner lifnr also from the header eb uh, lifnr okay this will be full stuff and then now we don't have anything we now want to read the data from the item table so how we'll do ls um final risk so what we'll do ls final risk there's a field there i'll read it from item table how will i read it i'll read that item table which has the same um, PO number as the LS header I, uh, PO number and then I'll give that so so I'll read this uh, item table for the same PO which has the header PO and then I'll assign the risk field from item to the final table right easy do you get it uh, same way we can say LS final net netwr equal to we'll read from the item table based on the po ls head ebln and then we'll give the netwr so this is like what we used to do earlier where we used to say read table li item into ls item with key ebln is equal to ls head on does ebln right so so this is the same way but this is in the new 7.4 operator now let's append append the ls final to uh, what did i give i li final and then we want to show you the output 
So how should I show the output? CL DMO um, output, which is a very useful class which SAP has provided for us to play around, display, and I'll give us li li final final. Okay. Now let's activate it and then test it. Okay, we got a dump. Uh, I did not want to show you this here so because I had a separate uh, slide to show you what are the exception handling, but I think the time has come to show you the first one. So the demerit, there are some demerits in inline declaration and in the new ABAPS 7.4, which you'll learn when you do the practical, uh, when you do practically in your projects, some of them which I've covered in the coming slides. Uh, but this one says so it dumped because the first line there was no risk so if there is no risk uh, then it will it will dump so so for that we have to try some do some catches so we'll do try and we'll do some and try and try and then we'll catch some exception which sap has provided so we'll say catch uh, cx underscore sy do a tab it will then it is something related to i tab and line not found so if if a line is not found where the risk has value then just please do not dump put it blank now let's test it again so here you go so you 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 just did a read uh, you just looked through the header table then you read the item table based on the ebln and then you try to assign the risk so if you don't use the try and and, and try uh, with the catch and if this value is blank it will dump so in our case the first statement dumped okay so with, with this catch and end catch you were able to bypass it and you saw the output so if there is a, another slide where i'll show you all the demerits of uh, above 7.4 and also how to tackle them hope hope this uh, table operators are clear for you